The Super Eagles went into the crucial match against Congo, needing all three points to revive their qualification campaign. After a goalless first half, Eagles returnee Ike Uche got the opener from the spot when goal-bound Emmanuel Emenike was brought down in the box by the Congolese keeper 10 minutes after resumption of play. Announcing his return to the international scene in the colours of Nigeria, Uche, a great goal scorer in Nick Alton in La Liga, Uche puts Nigeria into the lead. And wow! makes the race for second spot even more interesting. Skipper Vincent Ayama made sure Nigeria maintained the lead as he stopped a Congolese penalty on 64 minutes after a Nigerian player was adjudged to have handled the ball in the Eagles penalty area. And with a minute left on the clock, Aaron Samuel netted Nigeria's second to set up a make or ma encounter against South Africa in Rio on Wednesday. Things however got sour where the Congolese fans resorted to throwing objects at players on the pitch. With this victory however, Nigeria will require an outright win in their last qualifier against South Africa, who have already qualified from the group as leaders, having beaten Sudan 2-1 earlier in the day. Analysts say the Super Eagles should keep a cool head going into the match, as the job is yet to be completed. Our chances have been brightened. We needed to win this match. It was an all-important match, and we got it. All Nigeria needs to do is to sit at home in Oyo, take the game very serious and then hit the South Africans real hard. For me, I would say congratulations to the team and the manager. They get the job done and that's basically it. South Africa are currently on 11 points, followed by Nigeria on 7 points, tied with Congo also on 7 points but with inferior goals difference, while Sudan are placed fourth with 3 points. Henry, if you, NTN News.